recipient of the Bard College Award for Outstanding Writing. She received an honorable mention in the City College Spring Poetry Festival. Jeanette Neal. Hi, Mom. This poem is entitled Stain. Remember that stain on your gym shirt? That stubborn concentration of melted snacks which inhabited one section of your locker? Remember how diligently you worked, you worked to get it out? Ammonia, whisk, and all temperature cheer? All in vain. But of course, you were a freshman then. Everyone knows seniors don't care what they wear to gym. <laughs> well, I thought high school was a stain. A stain composed of zero period labs, exams, and unwanted homework assignments, partially imposing itself on my mind until I began to look at that stain from an angle where I did not need my wireframe glasses. What I had termed an intrusion or imposition became with all negative connotations aside, densely packed with friends and teachers memories and dreams. And I no longer wanted that stain out. Now I wear it proudly on my mind and yes, on my heart. You see, preachers believe in cleansing, but I say no liquid substance shall touch this stain these years have made on me. And I know, because I believe in believing. Now you're probably agreeing with what I'm saying and thinking, yes, I'm gonna let high school stick. Then you turn your tassel to the future, grasp your diploma, and go home into the wash. Now, it gives me great pleasure in introducing a young lady who every morning at 7 o'clock in the morning has been in the general office ready to help us get the school started. A scholar, a great personality, a perfect four years record of attendance. Please welcome our salutatorian, Dapana Shah. Mr. Zimmerman, parents, guests, teachers, and fellow students of the graduating class of 1987, I feel greatly honored to be able to say a few words on this special day in our lives that marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. I stand before you to say adieu with mixed feelings of joy, sorrow, and gratitude. My feelings of joy are because we are, about, we are at the threshold of a new phase of our lives, ready to take that first step into that new experience with courage and confidence, and to continue our endeavors in pursuit of knowledge, wealth, and better values. In the words of astronaut Neil Armstrong, let this first step be a great step forward in all our lives. My feelings of joy are because we are about to part company of friends, company of teachers, and the warmth of feelings that we have developed over these years. Parting is painful indeed, but it is inevitable. My feelings of gratitude are to my parents, my good friends, and to the team of dedicated teachers who by their untiring efforts and enthusiasm has in addition to imparting knowledge, helped shape our character to lead a disciplined and honest life. If we have grown to this stature, if we are worthy of the achievements we have to our credit, if we have been groomed to be worthy citizens, if we have been taught moral values, and if we have been given the confidence to face the world, the credit goes to all these supportive people. On your behalf, I wish to express our indebtedness to them. Friends, the best tribute we can pay to them is to give them an assurance that as products of Harriet Truman High School, we shall hold on to the principles and lofty ideals. As I mentioned earlier, we are, we, are, we are about to enter a new and wider world in pursuit of different locations. Life is full of challenges, and we should try to achieve success by following the path of righteousness. In this highly competitive world, we see a lot of inequalities. It is a fact of life that some may be more prosperous than others, some may be more talented than others. Some may be very successful and go to dizzy heights, while others may not. In such an environment, we have to learn to live a contented life. 
Let us therefore take a pledge on this auspicious occasion that we will follow the path of righteousness, banish hatred, refrain from crime, shun drugs, love and respect our parents who have toiled for our sake, never to forget those who have done a good turn for us, to forgive those who have caused us harm, to go all out to help those in distress, be fair to everyone and try to earn goodwill by our deeds and actions. I fully realize that it is easy to preach all of the above, but difficult to practice. However, we should strive to achieve, achieve these to the best of our abilities. It is said that the mind in its own way can make a hell of heaven or a heaven of hell. Let me once again, on behalf of all of you and on my own, thank the faculty and administrators of our school for all that they have done in shaping our intellectual, moral, and social values and in preparing us for the future. I wish you all Godspeed and a very bright future. Thank you. Thank you, Katana. Nakala Breeze, Assistant Principal Business Education. On behalf of the Business Education Department of Truman High School, it gives me great pleasure to announce this year's winner of the Harry S. Truman High School Medal for Excellence in Business Education, Desiree Leverage. You'd be disappointed if the English chairman didn't start with a quotation, would you not? Uh, <laughs> Ralph Waldo Emerson once said that the reward of a thing well done is to have done it. The gold medal that I'm about to give Evan Krutoy attests to how many things he has done well, and he has done many very, very well in the field of English. But if you know Evan, and I have because I've taught him for the last two years, you know that the greatest reward he gets does not come primarily for the, from the recognition that he's going to get and that he deserves today, but it comes from the knowledge that what he has set out to do he has done extremely well, and on behalf of the entire English department, I'm very proud to present the gold medal in communication arts to Evan Krutoy. <laughs> and I turn the microphone back over to my colleague, Mr. Zimmerman. Thank you. It gives me a great pleasure to present the Medal of Excellence in Fine Art to a young lady who spent many mornings painting my walls on the fourth floor, Sylvia Cruz. come in handy. As a foreign language assistant principal, it gives me also great pleasure to present the Medal of Excellence in Foreign Language to Kimberly Williams. As the person in charge of the music department, it also gives me great pleasure to present the Medal of Excellence in Vocal Music to great singer Adrienne McDonald. Excellence in instrumental music 
Vilma Carol. And now, my colleague, Assistant Principal of Economics and Science, Mr. Herman Budol. Role. I am the assistant principal of home economics on behalf of the home economics department, which really is Mrs. Baer. Uh, I am here to present the home economics award to Cleveland Bond. said, you can do anything you really want to do. On behalf of the science department, which I, I do represent with a lot more teachers, we have a young lady who has won this award. She is the salutatorium and has taken practically every single course we have to offer, if not all, and has done exceptionally well. My honor and my award, Kalpana Shum. I take pleasure in introducing the senior member, Mr. Walter Rubin of the Mathematics Department. On behalf of every teacher in the Mathematics Department, I am honored and proud to present the medal for outstanding achievement in mathematics to a gifted mathematician, Sharon Feldman. present the awards of physical education, a younger member of the faculty in R.S. Truman High School, Mr. Martin Silver. Thank you, Mr. Rubin. I'll accept that compliment. Ladies and gentlemen, always gives me great pleasure to make the presentations in behalf of the PSAL for the City of New York. Each year, they present awards to each high school to the two individuals who demonstrated excellence in athletics, academics, and character. And our two award winners have demonstrated this in style. The male award winner was a four-year member of the cross country, indoor and outdoor track team. He was selected twice, two years, as an all-city runner on one of our relays and he's one of the top 100 and 200 yard runners in the city for the past two years. He'll attend CW Post in the fall, Mr. Nigel Bryden. has achieved unbelievably. She's been a member of our women's track team for four years. She was selected as an all-city runner for the last two years. She's been selected as an all-American runner for the past two years. She's had scholarship offers to numerous colleges, and she has decided to accept a scholarship, full scholarship, to CW Post. She's a gem, Camille Slepe. And now the 
younger chairman of the Social Studies Department, Mr. Herbert Brodsky. Good afternoon. The Department of Social Studies annually selects a student who has demonstrated not only outstanding scholarship, but has demonstrated citizenship, character, participated in all of the honors classes. And this year, we think we have selected one of the hardest working students who we have ever had the privilege to give this award to. It is therefore my pleasure to give this award to Ms. Shlomi Oz. When one thinks of special education, one often thinks of the orthopedically impaired, yet many of our students have silent handicaps. Our award winner is hard of hearing. Through lip reading and sign language, plus much hard work and lots of enthusiasm, Angel has overcome his hearing impairment and deserves the special education award, Angel Baez. It's my privilege at this time to introduce the co-presidents of the Parents Association to present the Parents Association Award, Mrs. Saritsky, Mrs. Simlikov. On behalf of the Parents Association for Harry S. Truman High School, I'd like to present this award to Gerald Lubiner. Lubiner? Oh, well, everybody mispronounces my name, so I guess. for his parents having joined the PA. On behalf of the Parents Association, I would like to present this award for achievements, services rendered to Harry S. Truman High School to Yolanda Marshall. At this time, I'd like to bring back the senior assistant principal, Mr. Walter Rubin, to present the CSA award. <laughs> the initials CSA stand for the Council of Supervisors and Administrators a professional association dedicated to the education of all students in the city of New York. I am proud to present the Student Leadership Award that is donated by CSA to an outstanding leader at Truman High School, Randy Gwynn. Present the following awards to uh, senior class students will be Angela Clark, the senior advisor. I wish to remember at this time four young ladies who worked very hard to make the senior class this year as successful as it has been. My senior class president, Leandra Bates. John Harris.
I'd like to present at this time Laura Collins, who will present the McDonald Performance Award Scholarship. special achievements. Our nation's future is in the hands of the students of today, and I am fully to the betterment of the American way of life. With my best wishes for happiness and success in pursuit of that goal, and kindest regards to your family, I remain Mario Biaggi, Member of Congress. present the certificate of merit from Elliot Engel, Assemblyman, Ms. Greco. The Elliot Engel Certificate of Merit for Citizenship and Outstanding Community Service is presented to Evan Crutoy. of Negro Women's Co-op City Section, Mr. Zimmerman, the staff, teachers, the graduates, their relatives, and friends. And I'm honored to present the service award to Della Creddy. This is an out recognition of her outstanding service to the community. Final award, I have the privilege to award, present the award from the Grand Lodge Knights of Pythias to Frank Chimkin. We will now have a musical interlude. We have a surprise presentation. <clears throat> I'm 
behalf of the senior representatives and the senior class, we would like to give dedication, appreciation to a wonderful lady who has given us help in our time of need. Outstanding dedication in her service, Ms. Clark. I'm telling, being told, make it quick. This is a wonderful group, and you know I love you all. And it's been an exciting year, and we've done wonderful things together. And I wish you all great things in the future. Thank you so much. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. God bless you all. Be successful wherever you go, and remember you came to Truman. I breathed in its air, freely with the least bit of care. My lungs became flooded in the window to my mind, flung open, smashing its creative shutters. It lifted me gently, as so many times before. And my hand seized the pen, the right from my heart and soul once more. And my body was forced to deliver this message. to remind others of the feelings and love that we all have within. And to those of you, I was told, to remind you that those of you who do not allow true caring, emotions, and loving to show, the world for you will become dark, no love or companionship will you come to know. Instead of criticizing, aid and console. Instead of isolating and castigating, console the outcasts. Instead of becoming scapegoats and pawns for those who socially use you to look good, make unto your own selves a place to call home. With this message, we can use it to change the world and all the evils that we've come to know. So please, take heed, my friends. And maybe, just maybe, men will learn to love the cold mist through their window. I'd like to dedicate this song to all of you. It's a very sincere and warm dedication, and we hope that it stays within your hearts and minds forever.
hear Mrs. Bell. You must hear every word I'm going to say. If not, you will not be graduates. And now, by the power invested in me, by Community School Board for District 11, by the New York City and New York State Departments of Education, in having presented evidence of completion of the required courses of study, I hereby pronounce you graduates of the class of June 1987. Congratulations.
action. Congratulations. Yeah. Look who's in 